morning, everyone. First off, I just wanted to say thank you so much for all of the support lately. I appreciate you guys. And second, for this episode, just for fun, I figured I'd talk about teams in descending order based on how many titles they've won. I'll save Juventus and Real Madrid for next week as nothing really happened with them this week. And as far as how many titles they've won this season is a mystery at this point. So first off, shout out to Mr. Character himself as his Celtic team overcame Aberdeen 2-1 in the Scottish Cup Final. That rhyme wasn't on purpose. That makes the season not only a treble winning season for Rodgers, which is a huge accomplishment in its own right, but Rodgers is the first manager ever to both win a treble in their first season and go unbeaten in league play in Scottish football history. That's a season to be proud of. It'll be interesting to see how they stack up in the Champions League next year, as this season they are in a pretty damn tough group. Also, you gotta add in the clause of whether or not they can hold on to some of their best players like Moussa Dembele. I also wonder if any middle of the pack Premier League teams would be interested in Scott Sinclair, who had his most productive season yet under Brendan Rodgers, scoring 21 league goals. Not bad for a winger. In fact, that's four more than highly fancied Moussa Dembele. And Sinclair is still only 28, so he's probably in his prime right about now. Buy him now. Benfica did one less than Celtic as they managed to secure a cup double on Sunday. Besides having the most badass delivery of the match ball ever. Some real Green Goblin vibes there. Rui Vitoria faces former club Vitoria Guimarães. The team who he actually managed to beat Benfica with in the Portuguese Cup final in 2013. But back to present day. Rui Vitoria managed to win his fifth title with Benfica in just two seasons, which isn't bad at all. Also out of Benfica, so rumors are swirling that Pep Guardiola actually wants to make a little bit of a tactics change and sign a goalkeeper that can stop shots. After his experiment went pretty bad in signing Claudio Bravo, the world-renowned dodgeball player. It looks like the incredible young goalkeeper Aderson is about to sign for Manchester City. People are saying that the figures could be anywhere between 35 and 45 million pounds, which I believe is a record price tag for a goalkeeper. A quick what up to PSG who managed to win at least a double again for the third season running as they secured the Coupe de France to add to their Coupe de la Ligue for the 2016-2017 campaign. And hey, why don't we hop to England as we brought them up earlier as Chelsea looked to match Benfica and PSG's doubles when they took on Arsenal at the Wembley Stadium for an FA Cup. The scene was set for a sick match. What happened? Well, the most interesting thing about this match was that Chelsea lost. <laughs> Just to add further twists and turns into the abusive dramatic romance that is Arsene Wenger and Arsenal, they had to go ahead and win the damn FA Cup. This was Arsenal's 13th FA Cup, making them the most successful team in FA Cup history. On top of that, this was Arsene Wenger's 7th FA Cup, making him the most successful manager in the tournament's history. And a big hat tip is coming from the Arsenal fans to Victor Moses, who got himself sent off for what? Diving! God, if you're the manager of Chelsea, Antonio Conte, that's got to be the most infuriating way to go down a man. Especially when you're already a goal down. Against a team who smacked you up earlier in the season. But also just in general, it looked like Chelsea didn't have that killer instinct that they had throughout the Premier League season. They looked like a team that had celebrated hard and thought that they could just turn up to the stadium, waltz through Arsenal and secure the double just like that. So they must be very disappointed. But you know who's more disappointed? The Wenger out faction of Arsenal fans. Damn it, Wenger, why couldn't you have just lost the final? Ended the season with no trophies, fifth place, and just Europa League nights to look forward to next season. Then we could have been rid of you! That's what the Wenger out section are saying, not me. I am not an Arsenal fan. I don't really care if he stays or goes. Well, knowing the Arsenal board, I'm not so sure that we could even guarantee that Mr. Wenger would be leaving even if he hadn't won the FA Cup. To be honest, I think that this is the perfect opportunity for him to just bow out. Dear Arsenal fans, I apologize for the shitty season. Here's an FA Cup. I'm out. Please enjoy your Thursday nights. Love, Arsen. And hey, for some reason people thought that Alaves was going to beat Barcelona in the Copa del Rey final, but come on, did we really think? that Luis Enrique and Barcelona were gonna end their season without a trophy. This was Barcelona's third consecutive Copa del Rey win, making Luis Enrique the first manager ever to win it three years in a row. A great way to sign off on three successful seasons at the club with nine trophies, managing 181 matches and winning 138 of them. Also in doing so, Lionel Messi played in his 700th career game, scored his 565th career goal, and won his 30th career trophy. Ooh. And Dortmund managed to beat Eintracht Frankfurt 2-1 in the DFB Pokal Final, but there's some 
Very interesting story surrounding this one. First of all, Eintracht Frankfurt Loney from Manchester United, Guillermo Varela, was suspended by the club from taking part in this match because he got a tattoo against their orders and it got infected. That's gotta be one of the weirdest injury listings ever. And finally, to a talent of legendary standard. Now he may not have won anything this season, but he played the final 30 minutes of his career this weekend. Francesco Totti called it a day after 25 years of football with the same club. In total, he played 47,098 minutes for Roma or 32 days and 17 hours of football. He finished second in the all-time Serie A scoring list with 215 goals, had the most appearances for Roma with 786, 225 more than those chasing him, the most goals for Roma, and as a testament to what he still had to offer in his later years, he completed more through balls in the Serie A than any other player since the 2012-2013 season. I could sit here all day explaining to you why Tati is a legend, but I don't think he really needs to be vouched for by me. That's some big names that have retired this season. Chabi Alonso, Lam, Tati. And if Buffon wins the Champions League, who knows? He may retire as well. Although something tells me that he's just going to keep on playing forever. But that's it for this video, guys. I am heading to New York this week, so the next one won't be until Friday. My name is Adrian. This is Rabona TV. Have an amazing week, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.